To find the formal charge for each element here in HNO3, that's nitric acid, we use this Lewis structure and this equation. So let's start out with the oxygen with the double bond here. So for this oxygen, we have a double bond. Oxygen's in group 16, sometimes called 6A, on the periodic table. It has six valence electrons. From that, we'll subtract the unbonded valence electrons. Those are the electrons, they're not involved in chemical bonds. So these two here and these two here, they're not involved in the chemical bond. So we have two, four of those. From that, we'll subtract one half of the bonded valence electrons. These are the electrons between atoms. They're involved in the chemical bond. So we have two, four of those. Six minus four, that's two minus two, that equals zero. So the formal charge on this oxygen is zero. Next, let's do this oxygen up here. So again, we have oxygen, six valence electrons, subtract the unbonded, two, four, six of those, and then the bonded, two. So minus two over two, and that gives us six minus six, zero minus one, negative one formal charge on this oxygen. Let's do the nitrogen next. So for the nitrogen, we have nitrogens in group 15, so it has five valence electrons. Subtract the unbonded. All of these valence electrons here, they're involved in chemical bonds. So we have zero minus one half of the bonded, two, four, six, eight. Five minus four, that's a positive one. So the formal charge here, plus one. Next, we'll do this oxygen here attached to the hydrogen. So this oxygen equals six, still oxygen, group 16. Subtract the unbonded valence electrons, two, four. Subtract the bonded, two, four, so four over two. Six minus four, that's two minus two. So that's zero as well. And our hydrogen will have a formal charge of zero. We want our formal charges to be close to zero as possible. That means that would be a more favorable Lewis structure. So we could have had the double bond instead of here, over here between the nitrogen and the oxygen. However, if we did that, we'd find that our formal charges were even further from zero than we have with this compound. So this is the most favorable Lewis structure because its formal charges are as close to zero as we can get them. This is Dr. B with the formal charges for HNO3, nitric acid. Thanks for watching.